We're going to show you how to take the pin bones out of a piece of salmon because that's the only way really it's a nice dish. If you serve a piece of salmon with pin bones in it, it's not going to be very nice. So I'm going to show you how to do this. What I have is a piece of fresh sockeye. And you can see them here. They're real easy. Just, But the way to find them is to just follow it up. I've already removed a couple of them. The last one here. And if you kind of, if you can see this, and you find the bone, kind of pop up like that. You just have to grab it with the tweezers and pull them out. And it's really nice because they're just right in order here. Right in a row. That one didn't come out so easily. And you can tell they're still there because you just run, if you missed any, just run your finger back. All right, we're gonna pull pin bones so we get a nice piece for dinner tonight. My wife likes Somebody's dinner. Salmon on the grill. So we're going to pull enough pin bones out of the front of this to cook it. And then we're going to let me get over here where you can see that better. You can see them there. They're pretty easy to see. i grab them and pull them out. And the nice, we'll just go ahead and finish it because it'll be easier tomorrow. We'll have to do that. So you can see how easy that is. And the good news is, is they don't go all the way down the fish. So we're done. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to show you how to cook it. I'm going to cut off the front half. And because my wife, people will say this is terrible to do this, but to cook it on a piece of foil on the grill is all wrong. I'm going to rinse my hands. Sorry about that. Anyway. So we're gonna just season it simply with salt and pepper, but to do that, we're gonna put a little bit of oil on it, help the seasoning stick. And you know what, right there, I missed a pin when I felt it when I rubbed across it. There it is. Now we're looking pretty good. Thank you, dear. So we're gonna season it just with simple salt and pepper. A little fresh kosher salt, a little handful of grinds of fresh cracked pepper. Got a couple little pieces of butter we're gonna Kind of tear up and put over the top of it here just to get enough goodness everywhere. Put it on the top, it's going to roll down. It's all going to roll downhill, I can tell you. And on top of that, we're going to sprinkle a little fresh basil. Ew. I think it should turn out pretty good. And we're going to put this on the grill on the heat. The rule is 10 minutes an inch. This one's going to go about 8 minutes and it'll be just perfect. And we'll just take it off the skin and serve it. Thank you. Alrighty, the fish is on the grill. It's been cooking a couple minutes. You can see it's starting to bubble around the edges. And it's gonna cook maybe another six minutes or so. And over here we have some beautiful oyster and cremini mushrooms with some shallots that we've oven roasted that will stick underneath it. And we'll be back to show you how it looks plated up. Thank you. Alrighty, we're ready to plate. We have our mushrooms. Can you see a picture of those there, Deb? These are just um, oyster mushrooms and cremini mushrooms with some shallots. And we season them with simple salt and pepper, toss them with a little oil, roasted them in the grill on the indirect side, 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Then we put them back in the bowl where we originally seasoned them and we'll just toss them around and pick up any loose seasoning because mm. it'll always be good. Smell good. And we're just gonna put that on the plate. Got to get that other mushroom. This isn't television. And then we have here our beautiful piece of fish, all nicely done. And what we're going to do is just going to how long it. did it cook? It took, eight, took eight minutes. Let's turn it around. I like it better the other way. Serve the belly first, right? There you go. Maybe put a few of those over the top just because. What do you think? That looks pretty darn good. Yes, it I does. I think so. I'm excited. Well, give it a try. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to. Alrighty, we left out one very important part of this in our little presentation. We forgot to pour this nice buttery sauce 
all really fish. You just hate to lose that. You know what I mean? There you go. Now we're done. Thanks for watching.